Today we're going to have a session of cooking the lobster. You don't have to shoot him. <laughs> we ready to cook the lobster, huh? Have a little party. There you go. Okay. Okay. Stand back. Hey! All right, Cap. Blow the handles right off the cover. <laughs> you got covers for these things? This is going to be fun. Okay, what we're doing today, we're going to cook some lobsters and we're going to show you the breakdown of them. So when you, if you're not familiar with them at home, to get the meat the most out of the shell, we're going to show you how the shell is already laid out for you to do that. Now, most generally, people make a mistake and they fill the kettle full of water and they put the lobster in there under the water. You don't need that much water because he's already got water in him. So maybe that much water in the pot, put a cover on it, the steam will work for you. They don't need to be cooked as long as you think. So we have two, two uh, lots. One lot is hard shell, these three, and these three are soft shell. These ones have the same shell that they formed last year, last summer, last fall. These ones have already lost their shell that they've had and they're growing new ones and they're, they're gaining a pretty good shell. This one isn't yet, but see this part right here, this membrane? Watch it pop. See it? Like a heartbeat? That's how you can tell. Most generally the hard ones, you can't do that. You can't squeeze the claw because the shell's too hard. So the hard shell, it's going to take a little bit longer to cook them, even though they're smaller. This one, where his shell, his shell is very soft, you can see I'm pushing the shell in, that'll cook very quickly. Now, if you leave this in the same length of time you leave these in, the meat in these will disintegrate. It'll just crumble up. So you've got to be uh, watching them. And the way I do it, I take the thumb and pull the thumb out. On the end of the thumb, there's a transparent, little round transparent thing. If that comes out with no meat on it, they're done. Put them right in cold water. Now the reason for the cold water is to stop them from cooking. Because these shells, once they come out of here, uh, that water's boiling. So if you put them in the sink, let them cool, they're gonna keep cooking. So your meat's gonna start to get chewy. I got some rope in the truck. If you want a piece of rope chew on, I'll go get it and I'll cook them a little longer. <laughs> but but the, if you want to tend the lobster, put them in the cold water. It does two things. It stops them from cooking and it pulls that meat away from the shell so that when you open them, the meat doesn't stick to the shell. <laughs> ah, number one's ready. Okay. Come here, you. I take the bands off. I don't know if the rubber gives off a gas or not, okay? So I just take them off. I don't cook them with the bands on. Watch it, Hoss, I'm after you. <laughs> Almost got him. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, go get your bath for the day. Get in there. Get a clock. We'll give them eight, ten minutes, okay? I'll explain the, the anatomy of the lobster, okay? The lobster is the opposite from a human being. Our fat is on the outside, our skeleton's on the inside. The lobster's skeleton is on the outside, their fat is on the inside, okay? Now, when the lobster molts, or when they come in from the deep water offshore, they come to, along the coast of Maine, pretty much the whole coast, because of the rocky crops and um, wherever they can hide. When they molt, they're the most vulnerable in their life 
because they will get like a jellyfish once they crawl out of this shell. So that means that they're fair game for seals, crabs, other lobsters, anything that can attack them and eat them, they're fair game, okay? So they have to stay pretty much hidden for probably at least a month. So what they're doing is living on this flesh on the inside because their saws, the claws are so soft, they can't break any muscles or clams or catch a fish or anything else. So they have to stay put until that claw will allow them to eat. So that is why they're, they're about a month, they've been in hibernation probably a good month to do that. In you go. Go on, don't be complaining, just get in there. Nice and warm. I have a bath every day, I ain't complaining. No salt in the water, no seaweed in water. Some people do, some people walk down the shore and get a bucket of water. I don't. I use fresh water, no salt. Salt will toughen the meat. If you want salt on it, put it on when you eat it. Don't, don't get it chewy. You want it so that it's pliable. You want it soft. That gives you just as good a flavor as it will if you salt it. Oh, he getting red now in there. Okay there, lobster. Let's see what you are. Come here. Get up here. That's what I was talking about, see it? When that comes out like that, they're done. A little warm on that end. Get in there. Ooh. That water wasn't cold in there. Well, we got that hand good and clean today. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take tail off. Okay, just twist it sideways. Okay, hang on to his head. Just push down on the claws. Come right off. Just like that. All right, we ready to crack these ones? Take your claw. Put this part down on your board that you're working on. Don't put it down flat. Put it on its back. Just take your knife. See what I did? Just hit it, twist the knife. Breaks the shell. Just like that. That's all there is to it. Some people use like the pliers to break the claw. But the only problem with that is if you shatter the shell, you get shells in your meat if you don't see it. Because a lot of times it's the same color as your meat. Okay? I find this is the easiest way to do it. Cleanest way to cut them. Now, instead of getting your hands all tore up with these horns, you just take your knife and stick it in there and pull it. Just break it down. Breaks off. Okay? Take the knuckle. This part you can hit on the flat, or you can cut it off right here. Oh yeah, I need that little picker down here. Where is he? It's probably, probably a walnut picker. To get shell out of a walnut, you can use them. Looks quite easy, doesn't it? All right, we're gonna separate the tail. Just break the fins off, put him down, push. Now take your two thumbs, and pull that open. You just want to cut that membrane, so you go lightly with it, okay? And then we take his track out. That's the poop, plain English, okay? You just put that in and rinse it, okay? Make sure that you got that all out. All right, we're going to extract the meat from the base of the claws, okay? You just stick your one thumb in on the legs, one thumb in on the top of the shell. Just pull. Okay, turn him over, rinse him off so you don't get all this junk in there. Take your thumb right at the base of his mouth. Push down, breaks it away. Okay, crack him open, right down the middle. Not much in this one, a little bit, but not much. I didn't see any brain. 
Okay, he's done. Okay, okay. We used to haul traps in a, in a pea pod. A pea pod is a double-ended boat, okay? And we used to haul them by hand. And in them days, if you, there was a lot more lobsters than there is today. We only got 30 cents a pound for them. So at the end, when we got tired of rowing, we'd row to the beach, go up and build a fire, take a bucket out of the boat and steam some lobsters and eat them. Then we'd commence to row home. That was our first experience with them. See how much meat there was in that one? The hard shell filled, but you notice it didn't stick to the shell. Came right out. That's the idea of the cold water. You, get, you stop that water from cooking them. Now, one thing I didn't explain to you was the two different claws. You see them teeth on there? See how they're needle-like on here? This one, the teeth are round. See them? This is called the crusher claw. If he got a muscle, he would break it with that claw. This claw, he would take and shred the muscle, okay? So that he can eat it. That, it I've caught lobsters with two crushers and I've caught them with two of these claws. So they still live, so it, it, they, they do work. Who wants to try? Come on, Pat. Come on, Pat. Get in. You need some butter. Here you go, Pat. Here you go, Jeremy. <laughs> now work on this one. There you go. The new shell is sweeter. Yeah. You like that one better? Mm -hmm. See better. what the cold water does? Are you going to have a piece of love to me or not? Well, you better get over here, Bob, because it's disappearing. Okay. Wicked good. Okay, I want to thank you for Hal and Lisa for letting us have the place here today to make this film and I'm gonna have a sample of this. If I fall on the floor, you know I didn't do a good job. Okay, thank you. Wicked good. And that, my dear, is how you cook these lobsters. You have to cook them so you can eat them with no teeth. Thank you very much. <laughs>